Okay, so in this video, I'm going to look at another of these problems of expressing uh, a kind of sum of trig functions in a format like this using the compound angle formulas. And it's also followed up by a tricky little thought problem uh, for part B. So let's focus on part A for the moment. Write 3 cos theta minus 4 sine theta in the form r cos theta plus alpha. So I'm going to write 3 cos theta minus 4 sine theta is equal to r cos theta plus alpha. So from here, I go straight to the double angle, or the compound angle formula, sorry, and I look for cosine. Okay? So theta and alpha. So cos of theta plus alpha will be cos of theta, cos alpha. Now if that's plus, this is minus. So minus sine theta, sine alpha. I'm now going to multiply through by the r and make the cos theta and the sine theta be the last terms. So we have r cos alpha cos theta. Take away r sine alpha sine theta. Now we put it in this particular way so that I can compare the r cos alpha with the 3. So the r cos alpha must be equal to 3 and the r sine alpha with the 4. Because those minus signs are there, I just need to look at the r sine alpha is equal to 4. So there's no minus sign that appears here. So once I'm in that position, I can get rid of this working. That. If you are able to start jumping straight from this to these two equations after a bit of practice, then that's great. Okay. You don't have to keep on writing out all that uh, mess with the compound angle formulas if you can go straight to those two equations. Now, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. We're going to do equation 2 divided by equation 1. The r divided by r cancels. Sine alpha divided by cos alpha is tan alpha. So this is 2 divided by 1. And 4 divided by 3, so 4 thirds. Inverse tan both sides. Now, as I said in the previous video, um, the uh, alpha, value of alpha, is generally acute. Okay, this one I'm going to do in degrees. Now, the problem will be set up to either be in radians or degrees. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, degrees for this one because I did radians in the last example. So, ta inverse tan of four thirds is 53.1 degrees. Okay, to one decimal place. Now we need to work out uh, the value of r. So, um, I'm going to go with a triangle. Okay, so cos alpha is 3 over r, if you think about rearranging this one. So, cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And if you reorder this one, this is 4 over r. So the opposite of the triangle must be 4. Now, using Pythagoras, 3 squared plus 4 squared is r squared. Otherwise, you can spot that it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And so r must be 5. Okay. Or you can go about sine squared plus cos squared equals 1, substituting these in, and you should still get to 5. So, we now have alpha, and we have r. Okay, so 5, and the alpha is 53.1. So that is what we're looking for. So that's part A. Part B, find the greatest possible value of 2 over 3 cos theta 
minus 4 sine theta plus 6. Now, this looks particularly strange. What I want to call your attention to, however, is that this is exactly what we've just found. So actually, we want to find the greatest value of 2 over 5 cos theta plus 53.1 plus 6. Now, it's all going to be down to the largest and smallest values of this. Now, if we do a quick sketch, now we don't need to sketch this precisely at all. all and I'm not even going to draw in a y-axis, but a cosine curve, okay, which has a maximum value at 5, because this has been stretched parallel to the y-axis by a factor of 5. So it's got a maximum value of 5 and a minimum value of minus 5. OK, so this ranges between 5 and minus 5. 5 at its maximum, minus 5 at its minimum. So when this is at its maximum, when this part is at its maximum, we would have 2, I was thinking that, 2 over 5 plus 6. So it reaches, as it's going up and up and up and up and up and up, and it reaches 5, and that's at its maximum, and so 2 over this plus 6 would be equal to 2 over 11. OK? Now, when it hits its minimum value, so going down to its minimum value, it'll hit minus 5. So 2 over minus 5 plus 6 is actually 2 over 1, which is 2. So, what does that mean? Well, as uh, the 5 cos theta plus 53.1 is decreasing, so it's going from 5 down to minus 5, okay? As the 5 to minus 5 is decreasing, we're going 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. This fraction is going 2 elevenths, 2 tenths, 2 ninths, 2 eighths, 2 sevenths, 2 sixths, 2 fifths, 2 fourths, 2 thirds, at 2 over 2, and then 2 over 1. Finally, you get down to 2 over 1. So actually, this fraction is at its maximum when 5 cos theta plus 53.1 is minus 5. So the greatest possible value of this is 2, this value here, okay? And that's how that second part works.